it's Marek. Welcome to M Drives. Today I'm very excited because in 48 hours I'm setting off for a big trip to the Nürburgring. So it's a uh, end of May, a uh, long weekend. Um, so me and a couple of my mates are heading to Nürburgring to spend their three days, uh, do some laps and have fantastic time. But going abroad um, means you have to prepare your car too. Depending which route you will be taking and to which country you are going, there are slightly different rules of what you have to do before go and what you need to have with you. So I'm going to try to go through all of those things today so you are ready for your next trip. And as we are at the front, let's start with the headlamps. In European Union, if you want to drive your UK car, unless you have LED lights, you have to have these nasty stickers which will make sure you're not blinding people driving in the other direction. So it doesn't matter if you have normal halogen lights or the projector lights, as long as they are not LED, so normal bulbs or xenon lights, you have to have these stickers in place. So we're gonna take care of that in a moment. So I've got one of these from eBay. They aren't very expensive, so I really recommend you get one if your car isn't equipped in LED lights. Um, it comes with quite handy uh, manual as well. Um, so it has a list of cars, which is quite extensive, um, as I will show you in a moment, as you can see. Um, so you find your car on a list and then you uh, pick the photo um, with the same number. BMW 2 Series. And now uh, you have four different options here. So I've got projector plus xenon headlights only, that's 114. So now we're looking for 114, which is here. So we have to cover only about a quarter of the lens when you're looking at it from the front of the car. And it needs to be leveled with the lens. So First, we need to get rid of this part as we won't be using it. So, uh, as far as I remember, you just have to, to peel that away. I think you push that in and just pull. Yeah. So now we're left with just a round bit, which we need for our light. So, um, Again, we're looking at the lens from the front um, and we have to cover just a quarter of it. Um, so, and it needs to be at the same level. So, let's take the backing off and I think we are okay. So I'm gonna remove the other side. And that's done. And that's it. Since 2022, uh, you are not allowed to use GB stickers anymore and the ones which have uh, 12 stars. So you have to get yourself a UK sign um, and stick it at the back of the car. I'm actually gonna do front and back um, so it looks the same at the front and at the back. Um, you can also use one of those big round ones. Um, you can get ones which have magnets in. Uh, so it's entirely up to you which one you prefer. At the back I have short plates so I have actually no space on the plate to um, stick it on. However, we can stick it right next to the plate. It won't um, cause any problems. Uh, as long as we display the, the sign, we are fine. So, 
Here we go. Perfect. The next thing you need is the warning triangle, which usually it's somewhere in your boot. In BMW, they placed it just here for your convenience. First aid kit and tire repair kit is also recommended. You are also required to carry with you a reflecting safety vest. You need one per each person in a car, so if you're going with the family, make sure all of them have safety vests too. If you're driving through France, you're required to carry with you a breathalyzer test. This can be picked up for a couple of pounds. Check the video description for the links to the products. I also decided to check my air condition and debug it, uh, just to make sure it doesn't stink. Uh, I do it every year. It's something everyone should do, it only costs a couple of pounds and you can do it yourself. So definitely remember about checking your aircon, especially if you're going in the summer, uh, because driving for a long time in a hot temperatures may make you feel quite dizzy and dehydrated very quickly. All the modern cars can also display speed on a digital speedo, usually somewhere in the middle of the screen. So um, you can actually go into your menu and change it to kilometers. So you won't have to convert everything while you're driving. It will be displayed in kilometers on your screen. So these are the basics you have to remember about. However, there's a couple of very important things to take with you as well. And these are your V5 document. Um, so you need to have that with you. You need a copy of the insurance certificate uh, and when you um, checking your insurance, check if you have the full protection abroad. Most of the policies will actually give you a full coverage up to 30 or 60 days abroad every year. However, some of them, especially if you're going with the cheaper one, might only give you a third party. So please make sure you double check so you know you're fully protected. As of 2022, you do not have to take a green card with you anymore. So that's one problem less. It's also useful to download from one of the websites uh, some documents you can fill in in case of accident. You never know what might happen. If you're in that situation, I rather have them with me. And don't forget about your driving license. Remember, if you're driving in an older car which doesn't have daytime running lights, DRLs, you need to use your headlights uh, in Europe all the time. They need to be on, otherwise you're gonna get fined. I think my car is now ready to go. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you on the Nürburgring very shortly. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Do widzenia.